Greenville could become the latest city to ban cell phone use while driving. City Council is holding a public hearing this evening on a new proposed ban. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us with more. And Evan, what has the reaction been to this proposal? Well, Frank, over the past few weeks and even today in Greenville, most people we spoke with support the ban, saying they're willing to sacrifice a little freedom for some more safety. Marshall Jones is driving his car today, but with his other vehicle, he's often a victim of distracted driving. I have a Kawasaki 600, which is a street bike. Jones believes the problem is worse than people think. I completely support it. You should not be driving distracted at all. If you can't drive intoxicated, you shouldn't drive distracted. They're one and the same. In fact, he's not far off. A 2005 University of Utah study showed slower reaction times and a higher likelihood of accidents by distracted drivers over those who were drunk. AAA agrees it's a big problem. Two out of three will be using their mobile devices while calling. South Carolina is one of the only states left without some sort of statewide ban which could hit your wallet in insurance costs. Meaning that if they see a lot of claims where distracted driving is a part of it, then that's a real issue and then that's going to that's going to impact our insurance. Greenville's proposed ban would include a $100 fine for each offense. I think it's that should be enough money cuz $100 is pretty stiff for any fine, traffic fine anyway. After the third offense, a judge could confiscate the phone, further pushing the line on freedom versus safety. But for many, it's worth it. No, it's not taking away your freedom. It's really like saving your life. It's more than taking away your freedom. You could get distracted touching the radio, you know. So there's got to be a fine line between fairness and tyranny, you know. Well, we didn't speak to anyone who objected today, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. And I'm sure city council is getting some comments from those people who do object tonight. Uh, that public hearing is going on right now. The ordinance will have to pass two more votes before it becomes law.